Hey YouTube, it's your boy Elry F, and today I'll be bringing you guys my impressions of the SVS PV2000. It's an amazing subwoofer that I've been listening to to about a oh what about a month now, and I think it's about time for y'all you guys to hear what I got to say about it. Also, check out my buddy CJ18. He just started an amazing channel about his setup. Um, I'll be putting a link down below in the um, description box, so make sure you guys go check out that video after you watch mine. All right, so sit back, relax, and let's get into this thing. No. Hey guys, I'm back, and um, yeah, right here where you see the subwoofer sitting at, this is where I've been testing subwoofer out at. Um, it's in a central location, right in front of my center channel speaker, and right under the te television. Why I did that is because I only have one one of these subwoofers and I didn't want to mix and match with another size or anything like that so I just have that one subwoofer playing and the other two 10 inch clips subwoofers I have were off the com you know completely the whole time actually I haven't used those clips for an entire month since I've received this subwoofer I've watched everything from television music um, you name it anything that that comes up I'll, I'll play it through the subwoofer just to hear how it sounds um, and I will make a demo, but the demo will not be in this video. It'll be a, a, a um, second video that I make, and the link will be in the description that'll take you right to a demonstration. It won't be a whole bunch of talking. You'll hear the demos, and you'll see the um, the the words underneath telling you exactly what it is and how is it playing. You know what I mean? And um, that will be all to that video. All right, so you could get a, a more uh, um idea of what it sounds like it won't be perfect because like like I've said from all my other videos that I did demos that um the sound will not interpret the same as it is for me to you but you'll have something that you could get an idea of what it sound like um the reason why also I put it here is well well also I tried to use it in different locations of the room but the sound was um, unbalanced because with it located like oh, right off to your left or your right or whatnot, the um, the sound is not centralized. So there's only basically one or two sweet areas you can sit down and it sound great, and then the other location be dead. So I placed it there for that 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 reason, and it seemed to equalize the bass around the room in this central location. So that's why I placed it there, and also to get a fair idea of what it sounds like. Um, also, the size of it is just the, this subwoofer is massive. It's about 65 pounds. Um, it's like double the size, double the, the length, and maybe another two inch taller, two to three inches taller than my uh, my clip subwoofer. So I also couldn't place it right where my clip subwoofers were. So I had to keep it right here um, the build quality is excellent at first I had a concern with the metal the metal front of it the the great uh, whatever you would call it um, this right here but um, after trying out after trying out the um, subwoofer I didn't get any rattling or anything like that so they well thought out how they were gonna um, use this metal cover with the subwoofer. They have like these grommets in the holes. Um, they're like material is like rubber or something that that keeps the um, the the cover f firm in place, and it also kills any vibrations for getting to the cover. So that was a great design idea and a great choice for SES to do. And also, it doesn't look it, uh, to me it looks a lot better with the cover on it than without the cover. You know, like when you look at the clips one, they're more eye pleasing without the covers. You know, but when you put on the cover, it's like ah, blah blah blah. It look like any old thing. You know, well, also it's also also to your uh, interpretation. It's also what you like, also. But to me personally, all in that's all, I, I highly recommend this subwoofer. Everything that um, SBS promises is fact when it comes to this product. Um, like I said. The performance wise I have no complaints whatsoever 
it did everything I required of it and more and um, just for the pure fact of how SDS backs, backs up this product and um, in this day and age where many companies do not back up their products they, they put these specs out there and they're never what they say they are SVS has came through with this subwoofer and um, it's, it's been around for a little while but there's reason why it's been popular even after what is it five six years now so that that tells you a little something. all right guys be sure to check out the links in the bottom of my video there are links to my boy CJ18 with his channel you got to check out his setup it's real nice and um, it was also professionally installed so you need to take a look at that um, there's a uh, link to the demo video for this for this subwoofer and also there's a um, link to my previous unboxing video so be sure to check that out all right remember to thumbs up comment and subscribe and I see you guys in the next video all right peace Woo!